It's been ages. Sorry. Are you okay? I don't know. Oh, how can I make you feel better? Get me a new family. <laughs> I can make you a cup air. Mm -hmm. Be your shoulder to cry on. I just can't get my head around it. How can they do that? I really don't know. I'm scared of them. I mean, that's so messed up. Do you want to go to the police? No, I don't want that. I just want... I just want them to be different people. I want a mum and dad that love me and accept me no matter what. But I'm never going to get that, am I? I'm so sorry. No, it's not your fault. I always knew they wouldn't be cool with it, with us. But I thought they loved me enough. I'm their daughter. Hey, why don't I treat us to tea at the bistro, yeah? I'm not hungry. A drink, then. Just a quiet one, you and me. I don't fancy it. Babe, you need to get out of the house. I will. Just not right now. Thanks for dragging me out. And oh, thanks for brushing your hair. Oh, are you? <laughs> Listen, I know it's been tough. Really tough. But we're past all that now. It's just us. I love you. Well, that's handy, because I love you too. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh, you okay? Like you care. Sophie! She's pretty cut up, isn't she? Just doesn't seem fair. What's that meant to mean? Like I set out to her? Oh, but you could have told us sooner, though, sis. Miss Sophie's the one who feels awkward in her local, and she hasn't done anything wrong. We have. Look, I'm not going to go. It's just not as nice seeing a mate so upset. Because I'm such an awful person. That's not what I'm saying. OK? I'm sorry. I didn't come here for aggro. Rana, are you OK? I mean, after yesterday, have you been to the police? Do you know what, Aiden? All we wanted was a quiet drink, as a couple, in peace. Then I'll leave you to it.